Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to teach you how to make this effect really fast in Adobe Photoshop. So let's jump right into it. Now you can create your document, doesn't need anything too specific, just whichever size and resolution you want. Um, you're now going to click on the timeline over here. If you don't have it right over here at the bottom, you can just go to window and click on timeline and it'll open up create video timeline and now we have a timeline like all the other editing softwares next you want to just place your image in there you can drag and drop it resize it place it wherever you want i'm gonna go right over here in the middle now we're gonna zoom in and i'll grab my rectangular marquee tool and just select the part i want to stretch out which is this one we're going to right click and click on layer via copy. Just created a new layer with the selection we had. Now we're going to transform and I'll stretch it up all the way to the top. And then I'm going to right click and select warp. I'm going to zoom out a little bit and I'm going to stretch all these all the way out to the corners. Kind of like that. You can also go crazy with this and add like a bunch of waves and once you're happy with the shape, just press enter. And it's already looking pretty cool. But what we can do now is add a video on top of here. So just drag and drop your video. I'm going to use this abstract looking video. Now, as you can see, this is how long the video is. Uh, let's say I want my video to be 10 seconds long, so I'm just going to drag this all the way to 10 seconds and drag these out to 10 seconds. We can get rid of our background. We don't need that. We have our image as our background. Now what you want to do is just hold down the Alt or Option key in between these two layers whenever you get this little arrow and click just to make the video fit into our shape. And the last thing I want to do is just change the blending mode of our video to whatever fits the situation best. So just go through them, you get to preview them in real time, uh, depending on the type of effect you want to get. So I kind of wanted an abstract looking thing, so I'll probably go with screen. But then I'll add some more effects to our video. Uh, as long as you keep your video as a smart object, you can basically add whichever effect you like to it. So I'm going to go to filter, blur, and I'm going to use some Gaussian blur. And I'm going to blur it quite a bit just because I don't want it to be too uh, recognizable. I just want it to be like little blobs of stuff moving around. And if you just play it back, you get something like this, which is really amazing. To render this out, you can just click on this little arrow at the bottom left. You can name it whatever you'd like. Uh, choose which where you want to save it. Uh, preset, I usually go with high quality. This is the format I go to and the size you want it to have the document size. Uh, frame rate usually is 30 FPS um, and just click on render and it'll render the video out for you and you can get something like this. Pretty cool, right? Um, let me know in the comments what you think. Feel free to give a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you'd like to see more tutorials like this. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Linked in the description down below are the links to all my gradient map packs and all that good stuff. So go check those out as well. And uh, yeah, I love you so much and I'll see you soon. Bye.